Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. Thank you. Thank you again so much for tuning in. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. I am currently taking private readings again. Yes, so that is wide open. So if you'd like a reading, go ahead and get yourself in there. Yeah, send me an email. We'll get you all set up. Um, I want to express my extreme gratitude for all of you out there, the love and support that you've been sending since I have returned to the morning coffee scene is somewhat, is, 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 is a little overwhelming, but not really, but like, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all of the kind words and all that. I'm very, very happy to be back and in full swing, yes. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I should say this. Um, I'm not going to be doing happy hour this week. I will be starting back, back up again next week. Um, normally I do happy hour on Wednesdays, which would be tomorrow, but tomorrow is my last day of class and I am planning on going to the beach afterwards. So uh, there's that. <laughs> and I would like to keep happy hour on one day um, as to uh, eliminate as much confusion as possible. Um, I don't want to just kind of like throw it around. So, yeah. At least I'm saying that now. I'm not sure now that I think about it. But so far, happy hour is not happening this week. But that could change, I guess, because I'm kind of feeling that. But I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. We'll just say it's not happening for now. Just because I'm going to beach tomorrow after my last day of class. I am so excited about that. Anyway, um, I'm excited about my last day of class. It's been a long road, kids. A long road. And it hasn't even, and it's just been like a two year, not even a year and a half, you know, course, but whatever. I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, um, oh, also keep in mind that these readings are timeless, okay? So just because it's a message that's coming through for today, which is July 2nd, it doesn't mean it has to resonate with you on this day. It could resonate at any moment in the future, okay? So um, if you're watching it now and it doesn't necessarily resonate, maybe come back later and check it again if you're drawn to. If you're not if you're just finding this and it's not July 2nd, it's sometime way off in the future. It doesn't even have to be that far. Um, and it resonates with you at that time, then that was the message for you at that time. Okay? <clears throat> Excellent. So, why don't we just go ahead and get straight to it? There was something that I wanted to show you on the deck. And I noticed it last night before I went to bed and then I got up the, and, and I had said to myself, <clears throat> Eric, you have to remember not to shuffle the deck before you start the, the video because I wanted to show you guys this. But what did I do? I completely forgot and shuffled the deck. But <laughs> after um, I did morning coffee yesterday, the Ace of Wands was on the top of the deck here. And I noticed it at first. I was like, huh, that's cool. And then I was thinking about it you know, as time went on, and then I saw it again before I went back to when I, before I went to bed last night, and um, I was like, "Wow, that's really awesome!" Actually, the Ace of Wands being at the top of the deck to me that was symbolizing, you know, the new direction that we were going in with this new deck here and the readings that are going to come from it. I thought that was pretty cool, but of course, me being the silly face that I am. I shuffled the deck and now it's gone. So instead we have the Queen of Wands here with her back turned to us. Womp womp. <laughs> anyway, it's it's not a big deal. I thought I just thought that was cool and wanted to share it with you guys. Okay, um, with that said, I think we're ready to get started. So let's do that. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. 
Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, so the color for the day is purple. Purple being a royal color, they're saying, yes, this is true. But also purple is uh, the color of wisdom or divine wisdom. Um, and it looks a little bit, it looks quite bright and vibrant. Um, it's not like a normal, like deep, I mean, it is a deep purple, but it's just really bright, really vibrant. It almost has like an electric feel to it or, yeah, I know, like, a, like almost like an electric purple, but it's not. It's still deep and, and, um, Mm, rich in color it's just very bright it's interesting um, I feel like it's a good thing it's almost giving me an energy of excitement to learn there's a lot that we're learning lately um, there's been a lot of shadow work that's been going on lately um, I know Betsy was talking about that in her daily readings um, last week and I mean, from my personal experience, you know, I went through a pretty, pretty intense shadow period um, over the last, this past weekend. And now I'm kind of in a space of like assimilating, you know, integrating all of the things that I've learned or all of the things that I became aware of. And it's not like I was aware of that much else or anything that new. Um, it, actually, none of it was new, but how I'm approaching it now is new and it feels exciting it feels you know like you know i'm it's new it's exciting and it's it's dare i say fun ew eric who are you <laughs> um yeah yeah that's kind of cool though it's like there's an excitement to learn a vibrancy wanting to learn wanting to explore wanting to get to know new things which is cool. I like that, guys. We have this two more shuffles. And then we'll see what we've got for today. Two Dazels, July 2nd, 2019. Okay. Here we go, guys. Best message was please, Spirit. Hmm. Okay, stop there. All right, there's that King of Pentacles again. Interesting. Oof, okay, we have the Six of Swords in reverse here. Mm-hmm. King of Pentacles. What is this? The Queen of Swords. Oh, interesting. Six of Wands, King of Wands. The Six of Wands is upright, but the King of Wands is in reverse here. That's very interesting. There are a lot of reversals here. It's interesting because the king and the king of pentacles and the queen of swords came out yesterday, but they were upright. Today, however, they are a reversed. We also have the ten of swords in reverse with the seven of wands in reverse and the hierophant in reverse. Wow. All right. So the feeling that I'm getting from this so far um, is someone... Excuse me. Sorry, guys. It's somebody here... It, the focal point 
in my opinion, for this reading, the focal point is this hierophant in reverse here, and it's and it's the other side. This would be the normal side, right? This is the other side, but it's in reverse, and it almost is it. So this side would talk about um, unmasking yourself, because you see how in this in this card here or in this side here, the hierophant is depicted with a mask on, right? And so. This talks about dogma, this talks about religion, society, um, all that kind of stuff. With this other side here, this is the unmasking. This is moving away from the dogma. It's, um, choosing to look behind the mask or to take, right, to, to, to unmask the self, right? But now it's in reverse here. So what this is telling me, it's almost as if somebody knows. Somebody is very, very aware of um, the games that are being played by themselves. I'm hearing, you know, they're playing the game. Um, the games that are being played around them. It, it's some, it, to me, this feels like someone that is very, very rooted in this game of society, religion, the status quo, maybe even the patriarchy. I mean, this does feel like a masculine energy. We do have more, we have more masculine energy is outweighing this between the king of pentacles and wands versus the queen of swords. Um... Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, I, I have when I since I woke up this morning, I've had one of Ashanti's songs in my head, which was not weird because I heard it at least twice last night while I was working. Um, I don't remember the name of it. Um, See my days are cold without you. But I'm hurting while I'm with you. That song, you guys know that song. Most of you know that song. In one part, at the very end of the song, she talks about how you ain't ne she's, the, the words are, you ain't never gonna change, you're never gonna change, you're never gonna change. And that's <laughs> kind of what I'm feeling here, okay? At least, I'm not trying to say that if you're dealing with someone in this way or in this um, mindset in this energetic space they're never gonna change I'm not saying that but from what it feels like right now what I'm looking at right now this person has no intentions of trying to change at this point okay um, even though you have all of these reversals here you have the king of pentacles you have the queen of swords which are reversed and their backs are turned you have the king of wands which is upright and you can see him no, no it's not upright it's reversed but you can see his face to me, this is an energy of the ego showing itself and being like, whatever, <laughs> you're not going to stop me. This is someone that's very egotistical, very full of themselves. And then you have this, you have the six of wands here, but you see it's a very dark setting. You could almost say this is after some sort of war. I'm... Because look, because you see, it's it's kind of dark. You see those clouds of smoke. Those kind of are telling the, to me that kind of looks like you know uh, buildings burning in the distance, right? Because of some battle. Um, but the energy that I'm getting from this energy, rather than it being here where it's bright and sunny, okay, and it looks a little more optimistic. Here, it just looks dark. And to me, this is like someone that really is up on their high horse. This is the, to me, this is the epitome of the energy of um, be, someone being really prideful and really full of themselves and really stuck up, okay? This is not the, this, this doesn't feel like the feel good energy of a victory, of feeling good about yourself, of feeling accomplished, blah, blah, blah. This feels like someone just Being gross, <laughs> I guess you could say. All right, with this, and especially with this energy of the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords here, I mean, your backs are turned. Yes, they're looking off into the distance. They're looking off into their into their kingdoms, but they're reversed. They're negatively aspected. The King of Pentacles is super rooted, like ain't budging for shit. The Queen of Swords is just petty. 
in their reversal in their reversed states yes and then you have on the overall energy here you have the six of swords someone is just not and to, someone's just not moving forward. Someone's just not trying to change. And the fact that we see their faces here, I mean, this is what it looks like upright, okay? And this would be the other side of this card, right? But the fact that we see their faces here is, and we see them coming out of this cave, right? Let me turn this upright so you can see again. But you see that they're coming out of this cave. And here in this deck, the caves that are illustrated here are kind of can be seen as a bit of symbolism of like emerging from like a, a, a symbolism of like a birthing canal like the spiritual birthing canal like the 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 space the dark quiet maybe a little damp space that you go to to go through a major transformation to emerge a brand new being like a butterfly in a way um and so that's what this could represent here right coming out of a rough period coming out of darkness making a transition from a um, a period of rest recuperation and rejuvenation and rebirth to I emerging from that and living your life as a new being right but here in this case it came out reversed so it's as if I don't know maybe they're in this cocoon state right now maybe but what it looks like here is they're not showing any signs of change because then you have the ten of swords in reverse here and it's as if this is this this is this this to me looks like a situation in which you just beating you're just beating a dead horse I just feel like someone is really really rooted really really stuck in their ways yes look seven of wands in reverse and it's like, it's like they don't even need to be defensive like this anymore. There's they're literally, like, look at this. Look at this. There are no people here standing there with their wands trying to get you. There's nothing to be so defensive about. There's nothing to have these boundaries about, in this sense at least. I don't know if this is you. Maybe you're, maybe you're having trouble coming out of some sort of dogmatic situation maybe there's a family you know line um, a, a family belief system maybe it's religion maybe it's um, a certain job I don't I don't I don't know but instead of making some sort of change someone is staying really rooted and just moving forward with the status quo as if everything is okay This does feel a little troublesome, I'm not gonna lie. This could be you, or this could be, could be somebody else. It could be someone you're associated with, uh, someone you're connected to. Mm, okay, let's, let's see if we can get some clarity here. Oof. It's a heavy energy. It is pretty heavy. Um, what would I even, I mean, what do I even say? I don't even know what to say about this. Other than the fact that someone is really, really rooted. It really doesn't want to change. And, and that's okay. I'm not trying to throw any shade. Not trying to pass any judgment on somebody, but it feels like it's creating a difficult situation for others around them. So I guess if you have somebody in your life that's acting like this, take this as confirmation. Not that there's really much you could do about it because they have to be the one to, you know, change themselves. But if you were feeling like, hey, I'm, yeah, I'm hearing narcissism, but like I hear that all the time because there's a lot of that going on. But if you were wondering, saying like my intuition is telling me one thing, but then 
Wasn't I just, I was just talking about that. Oh, it was in one of the readings. I think it might have been the Libra reading I did yesterday, but um, my intuition is telling me one thing, but my physical eyes see something different. Trust your intuition. But also this is confirmation, I guess you could say. All right. Um, okay, so I wanna first, I'm gonna, I'm gonna split this up this time. So I wanna get some, some clarity on this individual here that's represented by the King of Wands and Pentacles and the Queen of Swords all in reverse here. Um, what I'm getting is this is someone with this, this masculine and feminine energy that's kind of balanced, but it's still kind of twisted. Um, you have the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. Both of, their, both of their backs are turned. To me, this is an energy of being very, very rooted, not even willing to look at something a different way. And when you add the Queen of Swords energy into it, it just makes it... Um, that much more petty, I guess you could say. The King of Wands is the only one that's facing us. He's the one that is going to defend vigorously his position. <laughs> Maybe even with reckless abandon. Like really straight up not caring what other people have to say about it. And you know, that could be a good thing, but in this situation, it's not really benefiting anybody, you know? Okay, so let's get some clarity on that, please. Spirit, for this person here. Stop there. Okay. The Empress. It's interesting. This is a lot. <laughs> this is a whole lot. Six of Pentacles. There's the Queen of Swords again. The Devil. You see? All of that just for the devil to come out. Okay, I'm just actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take this as clarity for everything. Um, because actually it's this person that we need to talk about or this energy up here um, that we need to talk about the most. So, okay, we do have the devil, um, nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, four of swords. Yes, we also have the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, again, Seven of Swords, the Hermit, and the Sun. Virgo energy, Leo energy, there's Taurus, there's Libra. Lots of Leo energy. Good amount of Taurus energy, Virgo energy. Very interesting. So... There could be there could be a, a good possibility that this individual is going through some sort of deep deep transformation. It's entirely possible because what I'm seeing here in this this line, six of pentacles, queen of pentacles, seven of swords, the hermit and the sun. First of all, the six of pentacles is telling me to tell you guys to to cut your losses, pick your battles. Maintain your own balance and harmony. If you're trying to be involved with someone that is not really giving back, giving you what you would wish to receive, what you deserve to receive, then Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, cut yourself loose. But then... <laughs> but then it shifts. So what I actually want to do is I want to take, I want to go this way. This feels like the advice right here. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. But then this is what makes me feel like this person could really be doing a lot of soul searching, um, a lot of deep healing underneath the surface because we have the Seven of Swords with the Hermit and the Sun. All right, the, so the Sun Yes, it could be a narcissistic energy, but it's also the best card in the deck. And 
between these three cards, what this is saying to me, um, have faith, chin up, because there's some sort of soul searching that's happening. There's some sort of deep wisdom that's coming into play here, but you don't really know it yet. Um, it's not apparent. It's not obvious. Okay. The seven of swords, yes, is a deceptive energy. Yes, it could be an energy of someone trying to get away with something. Um, but also it's just deception. It's something that you're not seeing on the surface. Now, it could very well be that the universe is saying to you, boo-boo, cut your losses, pick your battles, because underneath the surface here, something is going on, and this, part, and this situation could blow up. You never know. So if you're being guided to, because also this Six of Swords here in reverse could be you. If you're not this person that we're talking about here, the Six of Swords could be you in not moving away from the situation and not absolving yourself from the situation because ultimately there's only so much that you can do. If this person here doesn't want to change Six of Wands and it's just going to keep going like this the way they have been for all of time, for all of eternity, then let them. There is nothing you can do about that. Okay, we then have, this is more advice here, this feels like. We then have the Four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. This is, and then after that is the Devil. All right, so this is an energy of saying to you, you know, look, take some time, take a rest, take a break, step back for a second, and think about where you've been, where you've been going, where you've come from, how much you've been through already. Do you really want to continue harvesting something like this with someone or a it doesn't have to be someone. It could be just a situation too that doesn't want to change, that doesn't want to be different, that doesn't want to act different, that doesn't want to grow is what I'm hearing. Expand, try new things. Do you really want to continue manifesting something like that, harvesting something like that, seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, or do you want to maintain your independence, your autonomy? You don't want to get get wrapped up in the control of this devilish energy. Whoever this is for, or whoever is resonating with this right now, or in some way, whatever, the message for you here is you have your independence intact. Maintain that. I mean, okay, so, because I, I kind of feel like I, I'm hearing it. Um, what we mean by independence and autonomy is your own individuality. You are not someone that is part of this dogmatic situation. And this person or these people or the circumstance that you're dealing with, they are refusing to see this. They are stuck here. And yes, it would be the Hierophant in reverse still because of the blockage, the resistance, the, the attachment to the dogma of whatever this, whatever system this represents, however that re resonates in your life. And it's almost as if they know, with it, with it coming out this way, it's as if they have, they either know, I guess you could say how close-minded they're being. They know the expansiveness that's out there, but they're refusing to accept it. So that's fine. Again, not passing any judgment here. <laughs> I wanted to say no tea, no shade, but like all the tea, just no shade. <laughs> um, but for you, you don't want to be wrapped up in that. The devil. You, you, you. No. Maintain your independence, your free thinking, um, your, your free thinking uh, 
I don't know what word I want to use there. Your status as a free thinker. How about that? Now, the other thing that's coming through here with all of this stuff, like the Seven of Swords, the, the Hermit and the Sun, the, <laughs> the other way that the Seven of Swords is depicting some sort of deceptive energy is this is almost like a backhanded way of you getting to learn yourself better. Like, you wouldn't expect to... On the surface, with whatever the situation is for you, for somebody out there, it's like you didn't really expect to get to learn about yourself that much more than you have with this situation. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. But overall, Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles. If the situation is not balanced, just cut it. And then the Empress here is talking about, for both sides of the equation... There is unconditional love out here for everybody. For everybody. So again, no shade, but yes, all the tea. <laughs> okay? Not passing judgment on anybody. If someone is very rooted in where they are, they want to stay where they are, they feel very comfortable with it, that is A-OK. -okay. The Empress would oblige in that. But what we are saying here is that if that doesn't work for you, if you don't feel comfortable with it, if you don't want to stay going that route, then cut it. Cut yourself free. You can do that too. Unconditional love for everybody. All right? Whatever you want, you go for it. Hmm. Interesting reading. Very interesting. Let's close it out with some oracle guidance here for you. Okay, so for our reading for today, July 2nd, 2019, let's get some Oracle guidance. Okay, guys, here we go. Best message, please, spirit. Close out this reading today. Hmm. Tuesday, July 2nd. There it is. Ah, very nice. Very, very nice. This is good. We have card number 12, Arch, uh, Angel Raziel and Pietrosite, Storm Wisdom. Very nice. Okay, we bring you the gift of Storm Wisdom. This is the fierce, cl fierce cleansing nature of divine compassion made manifest in the world. Storm wisdom thrills the spirit, for it understands that so much benefit and liberation will come from the process, yet the mind may quake at the prospect of such little control over how your life events are unfolding for a time. What is happening during an experience of storm wisdom is that anything that has gone stagnant or obstructing to your spiritual growth will be uprooted. You may find that the divine storm of transformation powering through your life creates a feeling of upheaval, of transformation, I'm sorry, sorry, a feeling of upheaval, creative chaos, uncertainty, and excitement. You may feel simultaneously liberated and exhilarated whilst also wondering if everything is going to be okay. You must remember that you will only be asked to give up something in order to receive that which is far more beautiful and supportive of your sacred life journey. You must also remember that the cleansing power of the storm will revitalize you, bring you fresh energy and perspective to take forward in your journey, and is a divine blessing which will only bring good into your life. Well, all right then. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
in. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, keep an eye out for the rest of the Zodiac readings. I'm going to be getting those out throughout the week. We should be, I should be done with them by the weekend. Um, so keep an eye out for that. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.